We learned about the definition of characters and we also learned about the types of characters in literature. Do you remember? Then let's start the class now. Open your book to page 17. Open your book to page 17. Before you watch the video of this lecture, make sure to read the stories on pages 17 to 22. It was your homework. Make sure to read the stories on page 17 and 22. Make sure to read the story first on page 17 to 22. So, on page 17. To sum up the story on page 17, this story is about Mary. Mary woke up when the young maid Marcia came into her room. Mary felt like she was in the forest when she opened her eyes. Outside Mary's window, she could see the moon and the high sky. Getting to know characters, whether they are fictional or real, is one of the things that makes reading interesting. We can learn a lot about characters just from small details. Look for the clues in the following passages and see what information you can pick up. How many answers on the character profile can you provide? So let's fill in the blanks, character profile. The main character of the story is Mary. She's a woman. The setting of the story is a peaceful moor. Situation or problem the character is facing, Mary woke up from her sleep by a young maid who came into her room and saw a peaceful moor outside the window. Go to the next page, page 19. Make sure to read the story first. This story is about the tale of Peter Rabbit. Let's read the direction together. Here, read the following short story. Pay close attention to all of the characters and how they interact with one another. As you read the story, you will encounter a few questions you will need to answer about the characters. As you write your answers, be creative. Question number one. Who is the protagonist? We learned about the protagonist in the last class. Protagonist. What is the protagonist? Every story has a protagonist. The main character who creates the action of the plot and engages readers, arousing their empathy and interest. The protagonist is often a hero or heroine of the story as the whole plot moves around him or her. This is about protagonist. So, who is the protagonist? Explain in detail based on what you read why you believe this character is a protagonist. Do you find the protagonist in the story? Peter is a protagonist because the story unfolded as Peter ran to Mr. McGregor's garden. Peter went to the garden without listening to Mrs. Rabbit and ate lettuce, french beans, and radishes. Peter ran. So, Peter is the protagonist of the story. Go to the next page, page 20. 
To sum up the story on page 20, Peter lost his shoes and ran on four legs and ran away from MacGregor's garden. When Peter was devastated that he was lost, first flew in and cheered him up. Peter jumped into the can and hiding in the can. While MacGregor was looking for him, Peter sneezes and Mr. MacGregor chased after Peter. Question number two. Who do you believe is the story's antagonist? Antagonist? Antagonist is a bad guy or an opponent of the protagonist or the main character. The action in the story arises from a conflict between the protagonist and the antagonist. In this story, antagonist is MacGregor. This is because the story is being developed due to the conflict between MacGregor and the main character, Peter. So in this story, antagonist is MacGregor. The action in the story arises from a conflict between Peter and MacGregor. Question number three, what are some ways the stories antagonist and protagonist interact with each other? The protagonist Peter broke into MacGregor's garden and angry MacGregor follows Peter. Go to the next page, page 21. Question number four, how would you characterize Peter Rabbit? How would you characterize Peter Rabbit? Peter is full of adventure and curiosity. He broke into MacGregor's garden without listening to his mother. Peter also seems familiar with running away. Go to the next page. Page 22. Question number 5. Who is a good example of a static character in this story? There can be more than one. What is static character? We also learned about static character too. Static character. Our static characters remain the same throughout the whole story. Even the events in the story or novel do not change characters' outlook, perception, habits, personality, or motivation. Peter, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cotton Tail are static characters because they haven't changed throughout the story. As the phrase, it was Peter's second little jacket and shoes that he lost in 15 days. Look at this phrase together. Here. It was the second little jacket and pair of shoes that Peter had lost, you know? So, we can assume that Peter had run away before. Also, his brother listened to his mother from beginning to end. Those who do not change their behavior at all are static characters. Peter, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cuttertail are static characters because they haven't changed it throughout the story. Question number six. Do you think Peter Rabbit trains? Why? I don't think Peter Rabbit trains. He is adventurous and curious throughout the story. He doesn't change at all whole story. So I don't think Peter Rabbit trains. Oh, 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 oh.